Right, so I thought I'd do this as an update. Now, initially I thought, well, this is going to be hard to print. It's going to be really, really hard. Well, it's actually not as bad as I thought. The only thing that there is an issue with is warping. Now, the way to deal with that, now this is my turbine, the top turbine. Now, this is a print. Now, it was done without support material, right, because the support material is not required for angles of about 20 degrees or more. And these um, blades are basically at 45 degrees. Now, it's stuck to this aluminium anodized disc at the moment. The reason for that is I want it to stay flat as it's drying out and it helps to keep it all nice and flat and true. And so, issues with warping. Now, some of them, the stators mainly, were warped. So what I've done is got this copper plate and an electric iron and I heat the copper plate up and when I have a warped disc, I simply just press it down, use a bit of acetone on the base of it, on the back of it, press it down, and when it gets up to about the same temperature as a bed temperature, about 100 degrees, or 80 degrees actually seems to be best, around 80, uh, 80 Celsius, um, it, I just press it down, and it sticks to the copper plate, and I can actually um, uh, get them nice and flat again. So, and then I'm basically baking it on there. Um, this copper plate, <laughs> it's 20 minutes, it's 20 minutes since I turned the iron off, and this thing is still red hot. I mean, it's, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it's good because it, it, it basically gets everything flat. So here's my temperature thing. And we're still at 50 degrees Celsius at the moment. And that iron's been off. Well, as you can see, the plug's down there. Um, oops, over there. Uh, it's not plugged in. It's been out for 20 minutes now, so we're still at 50 Celsius. I'll let it cool down nice and slowly. So it actually, the prints themselves aren't too much of a problem, but I wouldn't recommend using PLA. Um, it really needs to be ABS, um, because the ABS, you can use the acetone to meld the fibers together. Because with PLA, you would need super glue, and you would use a lot of super glue, trust me. Um, but anyway, ABS is best. And actually, the the fins are curling slightly in on the top, which is actually not a bad thing because the air needs to be focused down into the trough, which is down in that area around the, ba the base there. So the air needs to be focused from the outside and funnel around this trough to keep the air away from the surface area of the disc above it that's spinning. So the air can focus back into the center so it can be taken in by the uh, rotary, centrifugal rotary system. Hang on just a minute. So here's my centrifugal rotary system. I printed this top cap separately and I've trued it up. Um, initially, it was out of alignment. Uh, there was a bit of a wobble on it and I've, I've sorted that out. Um, maybe I can show you it's spinning actually. I've got it really nice and true now, unless it's moved since I did it. But initially it was bent slightly on this side. Now the way to cure that, it was just like, it was thick on this side, it was on this side. And the way I cured that was to basically stick it in the vise and squeeze it until it was nice and true with, all the way around. So I just squeezed it in the vise a little while. So it just took it a bit of work actually to get each one of these um, perfect, but yeah, you never expect things to be easy, do you, when, when you're 3D printing and stuff. Hang on a sec. Right, here we go. I just spun it up by hand. It's actually very true. Just got two bearings on in a pair of pliers. It's actually very true. There's a slight wobble, but that's not much. So anyway, it's going to work. I'll, actually, I'll just turn it on my finger up a bit so we can see. But it is very, very true. It's wobbling because of my hand. So as you can see, it's actually pretty good. It's come out really well. So I'm happy with that, anyway. Um, so all I've got to do is make some more of these and some more staters for the centrifugal part. 
And the way to centre them really was um, uh, a little bit of jiggery with the, I drill a hole out and then uh, just line the hole with a bit of ABS plastic, which is in my syringe, you know, that's melted down with acetone to tighten it up on the spindle and then let it dry and then just, you know, use a drill that's slightly undersized. And, well, it's not really undersized, it's just one, the drill is. And I just reamed it out a bit and then put the spindle in and then I got it straight and aligned. And then uh, this this one's done, this this particular one is done. It's It's nice and true. So I've got the others, I've got a few more to do. Right, so as I was saying, the turbine, it actually came out pretty well. I can't pull it off the disc at the moment, but you can see the reflection on the, the back. Now let's go under the light a bit so we can see a bit more. But you can see the disc underneath. It's clear all the way through. I used some acetone to smooth it out. It doesn't matter what the middle bit. It got a little bit mottled and pitted and whatever, but if this, I've got to centre this one. This one, was, I haven't chewed this one up yet, but I'll do it later. The way to do that, another way to do that, is to get a hairdryer, spin it up to speed, squirt the hairdryer onto the central point, and it will straighten itself out, and it will cool, and it will be, it will set in a, a chewed up state. So you can actually, simply enough, if this is wobble, if there's a bit of wobble on there, you can literally put your drive, your spindle on. Spin it up to speed, nice and fast. Use a hairdryer to heat the middle section, and it will true itself out. And then, as it keep it spinning, and it will cool, and it will be it will be set in a true alignment. So that's the technique to do it anyway. So I thought I'd let you know. Anyway, thanks for watching.